Ada for telling my husband that my doctor knows more than him and refusing to forgive him? Hello, everyone. My husband and I have been married for four years and together for six, and this is the very first huge argument we've ever had. I, F24, am currently 33 weeks pregnant with his M31 baby. When I was 20 weeks pregnant, my doctor diagnosed me with placenta previa, which if you don't know is basically when the placenta for my baby is covering the opening in my cervix. They told me it would likely move as my baby grew, but it never did. So I am scheduled for a C-section in just three weeks. At 20 weeks, I was put on very light restrictions, but at 30, I got put on heavier restrictions, like no running, no lifting or climbing, no standing for longer than three hours at a time, and most importantly, no sex and no vaginal exams. Because my doctor told me that we want absolutely nothing to potentially make me bleed, which could lead to preterm birth. So I have been doing this all for three weeks, but it has been driving my husband fucking insane. Every single day he bothers me for sex. Every. Single. Day. Every single day I tell him I can't, and remind him of the restrictions. I don't even want to have sex anyway. My tummy is so big and I am always exhausted. He doesn't really like those answers. Finally, he came to me and started going on about how doctors sometimes dramatize things for the sake of their careers and more money. He said they push for C-sections. I was like, okay, whatever, but I know that I have this condition. Obviously, I am going to follow the rules. He didn't take the answer, and we ended up having sex. For a few hours after I was having really heavy bleeding and I got so scared. I was crying in the bathroom, trying to figure out what to do. I ended up calling my doctor, and she told me to come in right away. The whole car ride there I was just sobbing, imagining that in an hour, I would be having a C-section for an only 33-week-old baby. We quickly figured out that I am not in preterm labor, I was just bleeding and as long as it stops it will be okay. It did and I am fine. But while I was there my DR asked my husband to leave, and started asking me questions. She asked me if I did anything I wasn't supposed to do. She was like, this isn't accusatory, it's okay. It's just better to know if it was caused by something or random. I told her that I had sex. She just went over all the things again, and then gave me a bunch of information on domestic violence. She put them in my purse for me, literally. I was so embarrassed. When we got into the car I broke down and yelled at my husband, telling him to never do that to me again, and telling him that my doctor knows more than him and knows what is best for me and the baby. He apologized and I could tell he really meant it. I have still been holding a grudge for days, and he's been groveling for days. He asked me how long I was gonna make him apologize. I told him at least until the baby is born. Ada for that? Update. I wasn't originally going to make an update just because like I was getting into specific detail about my life, and I didn't want anyone I know in real life to find it. But I will because. I don't know why actually. I guess I just got some really good comments. I posted this about 7 hours ago, and I cannot believe how many people have responded. I don't know if I could ever say thank you enough to such thoughtful strangers on the internet. So originally my plan was to tell my doctor and my SIL, maybe my brother, but I wasn't looking forward to discussing those details with him. I rescheduled my weekly appointment with my doctor for TMR. I know some people said I would be able to just walk in, but I didn't want to do it, and then have make some excuse to my husband. The comments made me realize the severity of the situation, and honestly I am terrified. So I called my SIL when she got off work, and we had a really long conversation. I mentioned in the comments but my SIL and brother have never really liked my husband, especially my SIL. She was very supportive and kind, and we talked for a long time. I guess I can admit now that it wasn't just sex, it was rape. We talked about that more than anything else. And she cleared the whole confusion thing up very quickly. I told her a lot of the things my mom excused because she likes my husband, and my SIL was livid. I guess I kinda knew she always would be which is why I never told her. She ended up telling me to talk to my doctor, and she will talk to my brother, and we will see what's going on. She said she will come down on the soonest flight, but my brother cannot come yet because they do have children of their own. I was content with that though, and my appointment with my doctor is tomorrow. So my husband got home kinda early and saw how I was upset. I really was planning on getting myself together before he came home, but I did not have time. Still, I was not going to tell him anything but he was being so kind, which he really usually is, I know that's hard to believe but it's true, but today especially he was so kind and so worried about me. I know it was stupid to explain the situation but I did. 
I don't know why. I'm just used to telling him my problems, I guess. It was a mistake and I know that. I am really trying not to be so stupid anymore, but it's hard to switch from thinking about him as my loving and caring husband to my husband who is hurting me. So I told him that, and how he hurt me and honestly I am scared now. He was like, what, how? I said by forcing me to have sex, by literally forcing my legs apart and telling me to calm down. He was like, oh my fucking God, don't fucking say that. That's a crime, do you understand that? Do you understand you just accused me of martial rape? And pushed me away from him. I started to apologize, and he started to say it was okay and do that thing where he acts like I'm dumb again. So I finally like, yeah, actually, I really do understand that now. It isn't right, and it is martial rape. It resulted in a huge argument. Once again, he called me an idiot for even daring to say those words. I called him an abuser, and he literally laughed. He was like, who are you talking to? You don't know what you're talking about, and started to go on and on about things I don't know about. He said sex with his wife isn't rape, no matter how you split it. I ended up trying to just walk away, but he grabbed me by my wrist. I snatched my hand away, and he held up his hands was like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That might be considered battery of a pregnant woman. If we're going by your definitions, the condescending tone is what really drove me to the edge, and I told him I don't want to be around him. He was like, fine, I'll go. I said, no, I want to go. I want to be away from you. He threw the credit card at me and told me to go get a hotel then. So I did. And here I am, typing this now. And my SIL is on her way right now, but I am so far from okay. He's called me several times, but I won't answer. I've never seen him that angry before. I am slightly concerned what he will do if I genuinely tell him I want to leave and take the baby. He is the one who wanted to have a child and I was convinced. It won't let me take her easily, and that terrifies me. Every time my daughter kicks, I just want to sob. I never thought that my own baby would make me cry like this, but I am just so scared. Also, I am just now opening this PDF everyone linked, but it's already making a lot of sense. Thank you very much for that.